Greetings. In response to our customers' wishes, VTS has developed a set of families in the Revit application for its products and made them available for free, and most importantly, for an indefinite period of time on its website, www.vtsgroup.com or .pl, depending on the language selected, in the VTS BIM tab. In this video, we shall focus on wing air curtains. I will show you how to download the families in a fast and easy manner and implement them into the design. I will also show you the conveniences of using wing families to facilitate your work. We will work on a model of a three-story office building, and here we can see the main entrance from the courtyard. We will place a wing air curtain above its doors. Let's check the width of the door passage just to select the right curtain. I choose Section tool from the Quick Access toolbar, and then I create the cross-section along the external wall, i.e. the one in which the door is located. And I double-click with the left mouse button on the section head of the cross-section in order to go to this view. I change the detail level to High, and I check the passage size width with the Dimensioning tool. We go to the tab Annotate, Aligned, and then we measure the width between the internal edges of the poles, and we can see that the door is exactly 194 centimeters wide. Since the width of the passage is less than 2 meters, I choose wing curtain with the width of exactly 2 meters. Depending on the heating media available, it can be a cold curtain with a water heating coil, electrical heating modules, or the so-called cold curtain with no heating function. Now I need to go to the VTS website to download the appropriate families. I go to VTS BIM tab and then to the Documentation Center. The list of folders with available families appears on the right-hand side. You could see at once that Wing Air Curtains come in two options, Wing EC and Wing AC. These are the symbols of types of fan drives. We have selected the EC one since it is more energy efficient, in other words it consumes less energy than the AC engine, and it is also characterized by low operational costs and significantly increased lifetime. Additionally, it works very quietly, thanks to which practically only the airstream can be heard. It should be mentioned that EC drives are also available for volcano heaters, which you can also download from the same website. A separate video has been dedicated to them. I click on the Wing EC folder, RFA Families, in order to download it to the computer. You could see at once that I have to extract it to the appropriate location. I suggest a default location where Revit has installed all default families, but of course you are free to choose your best location on your computer. Let's go to Revit and upload an appropriate family to the project. I go to the Systems tab, and then to Mechanical Equipment, and Load Family. At that moment, I navigate to the folder to which I have extracted all families. In my case, these will be Poland, and MEP heating, and then the folder of Wing EC family. Please note that all Wing families come here in two options, namely Wing ceiling based and Wing wall based. This is because Wing air curtains can be mounted either directly onto the wall on the hangers or below the ceiling on the so called pins. Both options have been taken into account during family development. We are interested in the second folder, I mean families mounted directly onto the wall, and therefore I double-click on it with the left-hand mouse button. We are looking for 200 millimeters wide water air curtain with EC drive. It is the last item on the list. I highlight it with the left mouse button and then I click Open in order to upload it to the project. At the moment at which it has been uploaded, the appropriate item has also been selected on the type list on the left hand side of the properties palette. Therefore, I move the cursor to the drawing area and I click somewhere above the door just to insert the curtain. Next, I pick again the same curtain which I have just inserted. I can lower or raise it using the arrows on the keyboard depending on the needs. It should be noted that in the case of water or cold curtains, we can install them vertically 
if two of the following conditions have been complied with. The first condition is the requirement of a free space of 10 centimeters above the curtain. And the second condition is the appropriate power, in other words, the appropriate curtain range. If it is smaller than the height of the door passage, we can install the curtains vertically to the left or to the right of the door. We will check both these conditions in a while. First, let's check how much free space we have above the curtain. We go to the Annotate tab, and then we choose the Aligned button, Align Dimension. I click on the upper surface of the curtain, and then on the bottom surface of the ceiling. We can see that we have 20 centimeters of free space, so we are okay with the first of our conditions. The second condition, the curtain range, can be checked in another way. You just have to go to the Visibility Graphics Overrides window and click on the Edit button, and then look for the Mechanical Equipment category and click Plus on the left-hand side. The second subcategory, the Range subcategory, is responsible for displaying ranges. We check the box, and then we click on Apply. At once, you can see on the left-hand side of the drawing area that the curtain range has been marked with the red line, and that it is greater than the height of the whole opening. Therefore, the performance of the curtain is sufficient, i.e., we have selected the device correctly. If you do not want to display the range in the documentation, you can clear the checkbox for the Range subcategory, and then click once again on the Apply and OK, after which you will return to the previous situation. Thus, the second condition has also been complied with. Let's only place the curtain exactly at the center above the door opening, so that we can later more easily combine it with the existing installation. I go to the Modify tab, I choose the Align tool, which shall point to the center of the door, and then the curtain center. I move it in a perfectly symmetrical manner in relation to the central door plane. Let's see what the inserted curtain looks like in the 3D view. We can see that its geometry is presented in great detail. Both the hangers enabling its horizontal mounting onto the wall and the decorative elements on both curtain sides have been modeled. However, we don't always want to see these elements in the documentation because it becomes less legible. If we want to hide these details, we just have to change the detail level to low or medium, and then both decorative elements and the hangers shall disappear from the screen. Such a situation shall take place both in flat views, in other words, cross sections, plan views, elevations, and in 3D views. However, if we want to deal with a more detailed and realistic model, we change the detail level to high, and then hangers and decorative elements will appear again. Wing air curtains have the complete set of defined connectors which enable us to plug into the existing system, including the electrical, automatic, and hydraulic ones. We shall begin with the inclusion of the curtain into the existing water system. To do it, let's go to the perpendicular cross-section of the inserted air curtain. Here, we can see our curtain and also the fragment of the existing system. Let's pick the air curtain, and at once we can see that two hydraulic connectors have been defined. On the left-hand side, we have the connector responsible for heating water, marked as IN, on the left, we have out information, which means that this connector is responsible for the heating water return. Additionally, it is easy to note that the diameter of three-fourths of an inch has been defined for specific connectors. Thanks to that information, the software will be able to automatically select the diameter of the water supplying pipe. In order to connect the curtains to the existing system, I go to the Systems tab, and then I choose the Pipe tool on the ribbon. I make sure on the Options bar that the selected options is 3 fourths of an inch, and later in the Properties palette, I choose the system type as Hydronic Supply. I go with the cursor to the drawing area, and I click on the location of the hydraulic connector. I take the pipe upwards, and then I turn to the right in order to connect it with the existing system. To this end, I will help myself with the Align tool, which shows to which item the pipe and any other element shall be connected. Now we can see at once that two elements have been connected. 
I do the same with the second connector, but this time I will use the information assigned to our device and I will click on the symbol. The software shall automatically select the appropriate pipe diameter in order to connect it to the existing system. Thus, we have connected the device to the existing water supply system. As I mentioned earlier, apart from the hydraulic connectors, we can also dispose of the controls connector. Let's go now to the 3D view and try to use it for combining the curtain with the newly inserted controller. A dedicated family has been created for the controllers, which we shall upload to the project in a while. So, we go to the Systems tab, after which we choose Device, Electrical Fixture, Load Family, and we navigate to the appropriate folder to which we have uploaded and extracted all families. Later, we choose the position Wing EC Wall Controller, and we click Open. At this moment, the controller has been uploaded to the project. Let's move the Section 03 view in order to be able to see the wall parallel to the screen. Then we choose Device and Electrical Fixture from the Systems tab. We make sure that the appropriate family has been selected in the Properties palette, and we insert the controller into the wall at the height of at least 1.5 meters from the finished floor level. I clicked with the left mouse button, and then I pick the controller and I modify the elevation to 1.5 meters. Now we only have to join these two devices into one circuit. I select one controller, and then I choose the Controls button and Add to Circuit on the ribbon. It indicates the device which shall be controlled from the level of this controller, in other words, the wing air curtain. If we have selected all devices, we click Finish Editing Circuit in order to complete the process of defining the electrical circuit. And now we just have to find an appropriate circuit in the system browser. We can see that we have two devices connected together, i.e. Wing EC Wall Controller and Wing W200 EC Air Curtain. We have connected only one curtain with the controller. However, up to eight devices can be connected to each controller. Within its controls and accessories offer, VTS also has a read switch, in other words, the door sensor which, when connected to the Wing EC controller, launches the Wing EC curtain each time the door is opened. Should you need more technical information, you can go directly to the VTS website, or after clicking the device, you can go to its type properties. A dedicated link has been defined at the bottom, which you can use in order to go directly to the appropriate website where all the documentation of a given device is available. Thank you for your attention, and I invite you to watch other videos dedicated to VTS models for Revit Environment.